good morning. Welcome back to BT. Uh, your drive this morning is starting off pretty much on the right foot. We're looking at typical volume from most of our major routes, but we're watching this construction here. Over on the westbound QEW through Dixie, we have a left lane blocked off for emergency road work. So no estimated time on when this will clear up, uh, but we will let you know. As a result of this, it's a little bit of a visual distraction, and uh, we are looking at delays on the eastbound QEW. So it is a little bit slow from about Cothra over towards Dixie, and then it opens up for a short while. Then you slow back down again on the eastbound Gardner from approaching Park Lawn, heading over the Humber Bridge to just east of South Kingsway, which is this camera right here. Southbound 404 DVP combo, that's slow through Major McKenzie. Then you'll find delays on the southbound 404 DVP from the 401 to about south of Lawrence. And that is all just due to typical volume delays. That's uh, pretty much all we have going on right now on our major routes. And of course, the slow drive is starting to build through Scarborough on the westbound 401 from Nielsen to about Kennedy, alternately Express and Collectors. That's a look at your roads. And I'll send things over to Frankie for a look at the forecast. What a forecast. What a forecast we have. So let's say you're heading off for business travel. Take a look at the temperature today in New York City. 20 degrees in New York City today. 21 in Boston today. Six degrees in Montreal. Chicago will hit 12 with some wet weather. That's the wet weather that we'll see here in Toronto as we head our way through the overnight tonight. Scattered showers in through Ottawa today. 16 with a chance of some showers late day in through Detroit. We have a southerly flow of winds. Uh, right now we have current conditions sitting at 9. It's 9 in New York City, 14 in St. Louis. That warmth on the way for us here in Toronto. Partly cloudy skies is what we're going to see for the most part. Some cloud cover right now. We did see some earlier scattered showers. No scattered showers will push over towards Ottawa as mentioned. But dry through today, through the overnight tonight, that's when we roll into rain. Highs today 15, an overnight low tonight of 7. Will be soggy to start on Tuesday. Then that'll wrap up late afternoon on daytime high of 10. Wind direction changes. Temperatures fall down to minus 5. And for Wednesday, we could even see a little bit of wet snow, rain snow mix possible, even some flurries, and a daytime high right around the freeze mark. Enjoy the 15 today. Now let's send it on to your Monday news. Thank you, Frank. Well, across Canada, the number of COVID-19 cases it continues to grow, now standing at 67. The bulk of them are here in Ontario. Four new cases confirmed just yesterday, taking our total to 32. Three of them are in Toronto, a woman in her 60s who recently returned from France, a man in his 60s who traveled to Washington, and a woman in her 40s who just returned from Colorado. The fourth case in Peel region, a man in his 50s who returned from Germany on Friday. Now, all patients are in self-isolation after being checked in hospitals. As for the remainder of Canada's cases, 27 are in B.C., four each in Alberta and Quebec. And when it comes to that cruise ship off the coast of California, it is expected to dock in Oakland today. Ottawa says it has secured a charter plane to bring home more than 230 Canadians who are stuck on board. No date has been set just yet, but passengers will be flown from San Francisco to CFB Trenton for a two-week quarantine. Of the 3,500 on the Grand Princess ship, at least 21 have tested positive for the virus, 19 of them crew members. Let's talk education now. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario, they are going to be announcing phase seven of job action this afternoon as they call on the government to return to the bargaining table. ETFO members still being encouraged to continue those pickets outside of their schools until Phase 7 begins on March the 23rd. What is Phase 7? Well, we're going to learn more about that job action 2.30 this afternoon. Meanwhile, the OSSTF and the French Teachers Union are not holding any rotating strikes this week. They're not going to be doing so in the week after March break either. As for OECDA, they say they are willing to accept the pay hike that the province is offering if the government cancels the increase in class sizes, removes funding cuts, and cancels mandatory e-learning. Talks continue. Well, the Manitoba Moose, AHL affiliate of the Winnipeg Jets, holding a gender equality panel to recognize local contributions that women and girls have made to hockey. The goal here, to encourage the next generation of female players to pursue their dreams. Everyone, you know, staring at you, looking at you like you're different because there was not many other girls playing. Um, parents, most of the time, sadly, jealous only because I took their son's ice time and it was such a big deal just because I was a girl. When I see young girls that hopefully they're looking that if they love sports and they see someone doing this job that they look and think, oh, I could do what she does. The event was held as the National Hockey League celebrates gender Equality Month. And of course, we just came off of International Women's Day, so celebrating all things female.